Do I need to call Domitius? Get out. Thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Well, it's your funeral. Isn't the great temple majestic? Feeling all right? That's a shame. Thanks again for saving you. Still a bit out of it. Galerius just saved my life. Was there something you wanted? Lucretia says I'm supposed to rest. You mean my life story? Oh, well, I grew up as part of a big family in Rome. Me and three older sisters. Our father found good husbands for my sisters, but I wasn't. Uh, 
cut out for that kind of life. So he found me a job as a scribe for a prominent merchant. It was a good life for a while. Until seven months ago when the fires came. My colleagues and I worked desperately to try to protect our warehouse. We must have had a hundred workers passing buckets of water, chanting prayers to Vulcan, but they fell on deaf ears. The fire was relentless and it claimed everything and everyone. Well, almost everyone. My employer told me to grab what valuables I could and flee for the Tiber with the crowds. I remember diving into the river, and then... The next thing I knew, I was waking up on the riverbank not far from here. Thank you. But to be honest, sometimes I think dying in that fire might have been a blessing. Given what's happened since. If that's your idea of a joke, it's not funny. Go away. I was going to hide in, did you know it was going to collapse? I don't understand. Oh, I see. I should probably keep my big mouth shut then. Sorry. I promise, nobody else will ever know what you did. But I know. That was really clever. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Oh, speaking of which, welcome. I'm Fabia. Sorry I was a bit frantic before. Need anything? Oh, there's not much to tell. I mostly just bake bread and try to help out where I can. I suppose it all started about eight months ago. I was living in Rome with my family when I got sick. Terrible timing. My pa had just arranged a husband for me. A fisherman's son. I was about to meet him for the first time when I came down with an awful fever. I spent the next week in bed. Pa paid priests to make offerings to Asclepius, a white rooster, then a goat. But nothing worked. In the end, they decided I'd do better outside the city. Clean air in the countryside would do me good, they said. But after about a day in a carriage on the Appian Way, I was getting worse, not better. I remember closing my eyes for a bit, and I guess I must have fell asleep, because when I opened them again, I was in a forest by a river. I suppose the driver took off with his fee and left me for dead. Can't say I blame him. I wouldn't have wanted to catch what I had either. Anyway, I went searching for help, stumbled across the trapdoor temple, and here I am. I suppose you're right. I haven't really thought about it. But the gods are mysterious and powerful. Who knows what their plans are for us? What? You've been here a few moments and you're desperate to get out already? Why not give the place a chance before you try to leave? Good people here. Galerius works hard on the farm so I can put food on our tables. And Lucretia tries to keep us healthy. My friend Georgius is always mending our clothes. And Virgil makes sure these old walls don't fall down around us. Well, he... he does his best. I'm just saying, there are worse places you could live out your days. Well, I can tell from your funny accent you're not from around here, but... that doesn't mean you don't belong, does it? Oh, I try not to worry about it. I mean, if people are nice to each other, we won't have anything to worry about. Will we? <laughs> You're funny. I'll bet my friend Georgius will like you. And those interesting clothes of yours. 
and I'm sure he'd love to chatter about the golden rule with you too. He'll be just across the forum in his shop. Mmm, terrible shame that is. Maybe this will help. Late last night, I was cleaning my oven when I heard some noises outside. The forum's usually dead quiet at that hour, so I came out to see what was going on. To be honest, I thought maybe poor old Dooley had got out of his cell and was snooping around again. So I put my head out and saw someone in front of Virgil's shop. I couldn't tell who. It was too dark. I called out to them, but they just turned and ran off without a word. All I remember is they ran past a lit torch and the light glinted off something metallic. Armour, I think. So I suppose it could only be one of three people. Horatius, Domitius or Rufius. I hope that helps. All right, thanks again for taking care of our problem. I won't forget it. Meliolus. Rufius. Sentius. And finally, Domitius. Maliolus. Who else? Citizens, you have made your decision. Your new magistrate is Marcus Maliolus Gerges. Hail, Magistrate Maliolus. <sighs> I said, Hail, Magistrate Maliolus. That's more like it. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. And now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. No more shall you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the Golden Rule is no more. Attempt to deceive us all. Sentience is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence to fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now for your entertainment. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Wait, I exercise my right as a Vestal Priestess to pardon him. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, Priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Domitius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You'll doom us all. Lies. It is time the Golden Rule was exposed for what it is. A children's fable exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. This is why he's in his gladiator gear. They've been planning this all along. Shut up, all of you. The Magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one.
Salve, friend. Mind telling? Well, sounds serious. All right, let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the empty shrine. Understood. Oh, poor guy. My uncle was a victim at Rheumatism's altar, and he ended up killing himself. All right, got it. Yulia? Oh no. I'll go. You, Tantalus, cannot catch the drops of water. And the tree you grasp at eludes you.
Greetings and salutations. Greetings. I'm George. My friend, your words intrigue me more and more. But yes. I'm not making you a bow. Not so loud. What are you playing at? Have you not been told the about the last attempt? Oh, then I suppose this duty falls to me. Ah, it is a long story. Of course, the first question any of us asks when we first arrive is, how do I escape? It is only natural after all. And scaling the chasm wall is out of the question, for it is simply too steep and too far. But as they say, if the wind fails, use the oars. And here the second option is to leave the way we came in, through the shaft above the bathhouse. See, the shaft is quite high, but if one gathered up enough wood, one could make a series of ladders and climb one's way out. They have! I am getting to that. There was an attempt, made by resourceful fellows who lived here some years ago. They even decided to keep records of their escape attempt for posterity. Unfortunately, as soon as they began to carry the first ladder down the hallway, they heard a godlike voice sink the entire city. And that, tragically, is where their tale ends. So it seems that to merely attempt escape is to invite the wrath of whichever god oversees this place. And so I say, it is best to not even discuss it aloud. I hope that our paths cross again soon, my friend. Ah, a new face. I hear we have you to thank for saving Julia's life. Well, I'm an architect. Or at least I was back in Rome. That's probably too grandiose a term to describe what I do here. Help out with repairs and try to stop old buildings from collapsing on people. That kind of thing. But you probably don't... Wa you mean the Great Temple? This one's a bit of a mystery. Given the way it's positioned so prominently, looking down on us, it's clear that whoever built it felt it was the most important temple in the city. Unfortunately, someone else went out of their way to keep its purpose a mystery. You see, usually a temple is dedicated to a particular god, like Proserpina or Diana or Apollo. Usually, that god is obvious. But in this case, it's unknown. There's an obelisk out the front, which probably used to bear the name of this unknown god, but it appears some barbarian defaced it. And of course we can't get inside because it's locked up tighter than the Temple of Saturn in Rome. And that contains the treasury. So we're all left wondering, which god is that temple dedicated to? And could it be the one responsible for the Golden Rule? Unless somebody figures out the way inside, I suppose we'll never know. Of course. Nice to talk to you. Salve. Hello there, friend. Ah, uh, are you well, stranger? Have you been out in the sun too long? You seem a little... confused? Perhaps you should go and see Lucretia in a clinic. Very well. Welcome. Feeling all right? That's a shame. Weapons are to be tossed into the chasm. Magistrate's orders. Hmm. 
another one fresh out of the baths, I take it. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting Barbarian. I trust you. We're finally alone. I assume... We have? Wait, I must have intro... Is that about right? Seems rather brash, but all right. Why have you sought me out? Of course, what is it? If you stopped one person from breaking it and you're still here, then there must be someone else about to break it. Still, allow me to explain. When I discovered the ritual to Proserpina, the instructions came with a warning about paradoxes. The crux of it is this. If you do anything to change the course of history in such a way that your very being here is impossible, you will have created a paradox. To illustrate, when the golden rule is broken, I will open the doorway that will bring you here to prevent it from being broken. If you manage to succeed in saving our lives, then I will have no reason to open the doorway, and you will never have come here. A paradox. You see? The same thing would happen if you, say, inadvertently, allowed me to die. If I can't summon you, then you can't be here, obviously. If either of those things were to happen, I am given to understand, you would be flung back to your original time, having changed the course of history for us, and yourself. So the fact that you are still here means someone is going to break the golden rule, and there is yet work. Excellent. So, it looks like you'll have to continue your investigation. Ask them. Good. Now, if I did, I'd have led these people out of... I've had plenty of time to think about it. Let me s I've always considered my guiding star to be the well-being of our survival and prosperity have always hinged upon honoring the peace of the god. Give the gods what they want and we all prosper. Dis the real enemy in this place is not the god I trust. Thank you. I'll be waiting here for news. What is it? Yes? Why do you say that? Mm, so I'm told. This is truly atrocious behavior, which undermines the very foundations of our democracy. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, but before we proceed, I must ask, are you sure he's the one? Well then, in that case, as much as it pains me to do so, I must act decisively to ensure the survival of my people. As magistrate, I hereby declare him an enemy of Rome and authorize his execution by your hand forthwith. I don't believe so, no. It's not a crime to carry out the lawful order of a magistrate. Any way you can. I would think that bow you're carrying should suffice. Thank you. Please act quickly before it's too late.
Keep an eye out for Centella, would you? What is it, citizen? What? Absolutely not. I know someone's been threatening him, and I'm not happy about it. But I can assure you, it isn't me. All right. Malleolus isn't receiving visitors at the moment. Do I seem like anonymous threats of my style? You don't know Sturkus. He's not here. Dunno. The little cap at murder escaped earlier this morning while I was taking Yulia to the clinic. He can't have gone far. But if you find him, tell him the punishment he gets for coming back on his own won't be as bad as if I have to go looking for him. Listen, I don't abduct women. They come to me, and they keep coming back, if you know what I mean. You don't know Sturkus. Whatever. Keep an eye out for Centella, would you? What now? What business is that of yours? A lot of people have been looking for her. But it's been three weeks, and we've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? No, it's not that. We all care for Centella. She is... or was... A lovely young woman, but I learned long ago not to dwell on things beyond my control. Or to try not to, anyway. But I don't want to seem obstructive. If you have questions, ask away. Centilla was always a kind, well-behaved young woman. I admit, her disappearance really caught me off guard. If anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Sentia, Maliolus, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might fare better, though, I suppose. Fine. All right. How come you're allowed a weapon and I'm not? to have been. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. Well, what do you want? Of course not. But as I always say, 
If Sentius can't protect his daughter, how can we trust him to protect the city? Look, if you're trying to find her, you may wish to check the cisterns beneath this villa. Demetrius says he saw a body there some weeks back. Of course, just to be clear, I take no responsibility for what happens to you down there. I trust you can see yourself. Supposed to be in here? Talk. What business could you possibly have with me? Hmm. An intriguing proposition. Go on. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as silly as those clothes make you look. What makes you say that? You know, I may have the very thing you're looking for. Some time ago, when he still cared for me, he wrote me a love letter. Only, he used the wrong name. Now, addressing one's wife by the wrong name is not unheard of among philandering Romans. But in this case, the name he got wrong was his own. I confronted him about it and he stammered through some incoherent response. I'll let it go, eventually, and yet... questions have lingered in the back of my mind ever since. But... wait a minute. Why exactly are you helping me? I couldn't agree more. One hand washes the other. As they say, it seems our interests are aligned. I imagine knowing his true identity will give me the leverage I need to manage him appropriately. But first, I need you to do something for me. I want you to bring me some wine. Just one small urn should do it. Oh, don't look at me like that. I know this must be hard for you to wrap your sweet little pleb head around. So what do you need me to spell out? Let me tell you something about Maliolus. He talks a lot about freedom, but what he doesn't tell you is that he means freedom for men. After all I've done for him, counselling him through his entire election campaign, and he had the audacity to lock me in here. He said it was for my own good, and that my drinking was unbecoming of a lady, let alone the wife of a magistrate. I'll show him unbecoming. Tonight, at his victory party, I'm going to get good and merry, and if he tries to discipline me again, I'll threaten to expose his true identity in front of everyone. I am so looking forward to it. You mean, aside from the fact that I'm locked in this room and Domitius is right outside the villa, because there's barely any left in the city. In fact, there's only one small urn, as far as I'm aware. And getting it won't be easy. So, you'll help me. Thank you. Here's the letter. Now, perhaps you can tell me who Quinctius really is. What? He's... Oh no, that's, um, quite a lot more serious than I imagined. I only wanted some leverage over him, not to destroy him. Give me that immediately. Nobody else must know.
What? No. You... you tricked me, you mendacious little Sturkus. It was a lie of a mission. You were planning this all along and you deliberately concealed it. May Jupiter cut you down. I curse you. I curse your life and mind and memory. May you be unable to walk or eat or drink. May this drag you to the depths. This is outrageous. You get in there, you cheeky little sturkers. Ave, we'll speak again after you've carried out my order. Couldn't stay away, huh, lovely? Listen, I don't abduct women. They come to me. Whatever. All okay. weapons are to be tossed into the chasm. What now? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had, that's for sure. Good stoic. Treat your inferior, as you would. Can't ask for much more than... All right. Please. What now? I'm a legionary of the First Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the Magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the Magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. Then some Genetricum future chill tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river, and then nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow.
Of course. All right. Please keep... Sometimes I stare at the great temple on the bluff, and I think, whatever is in there, it has to be important. This area is private. Please leave. I stare at the great temple on the bluff, and I think, whatever is in there, it has to be important. <laughs> 